Governor DeSantis says 7,000 power company workers are standing by to help with repairs after the storm moves over the state. Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer. Craig? So what happened this evening was Elsa got a little bit stronger, and as of 8 p.m., the intermediate advisory was upgraded back up to a hurricane. Now, it's funny because we're talking five miles an hour difference between 70 and 75 miles an hour, but that changes this word up here from tropical storm to hurricane. When people hear hurricane, they're like, hurricane? But really, a 70 mile an hour tropical storm is just about as strong as a 75 mile an hour hurricane. So unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, I should say, the storm looks like it's weakening. That's good news. Unfortunately, uh, once you get to saying hurricane again, you don't want to flip back to tropical storm three hours later. So uh, I think the Hurricane Center just said, you know what, it's, it's, let's keep it at hurricane because we don't want to be confusing people with a jumping back and forth. But I'll show you in just a second. It, it is weakening, and that's a good thing. There is the wind speed at 75 miles an hour. It's picking up speed now moving north at 14. That's also good because that's less time over water. The pressure is coming up uh, as of this advisory, though, still 997 and barely category one, and it's 65 miles southwest of Tampa right now. Still, the storm surge warnings are in effect. There is going to be some storm surge because of the already established wind field, and there is the tropical storm warning area as well as the area of hurricane warnings, including Tampa Bay. None of South Florida in the Keys now, Miami-Dade, Broward in the Keys, under any watches or warnings or advisories now. So we're looking good and feeling better here in South Florida. And I think the folks in the Tampa Bay area and on the West Coast should be at least feeling a little better tonight because the storm, once again, it's moving a little more quickly now and it has changed its appearance a little bit as well. There's a future track taking it off to the Northeast very quickly. Uh, could still be a tropical storm as it moves along there. Now here we were 24 hours ago right there. There was Elsa coming up across Cuba this morning near the Keys and coming up, coming up. You see all the blues and reds and then right at the end, whoosh, just all kind of came apart there. It also shows up in the hurricane hunters coming in this evening. They found pretty strong winds at first, 61 miles an hour, and then a little bit less wind, a little bit less wind, a little bit less wind. And they're mostly finding 50 mile an hour winds out here as well as the pressure is slowly rising. So uh, the storm is at least peaked in its intensity. If not, uh, it's weakening right now too. Look at the radar, it shows it the best. There's the Elsa, Elsa, and then whoosh, Kind of comes apart there. What's been going on is lots of shear blowing against the storm, and that has had a weakening trend. Storms west of the lower keys, but I think we're going to be in good shape in the keys, good shape as well in South Florida. And as we go through the night, really no problems. Tornado watch also has been canceled. So, in terms of us, we're looking good here. It's moving away, a few showers possible. Tomorrow looks great, and Tampa Bay bracing for the worst, but maybe not that bad. Back to you.